Hello and welcome back to Ramblecraft. It is a rainy day here on the server today, but the slime farm is working. That that had no like that had no connection to what I was saying at all. But anyways, welcome back. Uh today we are here at the chest here because I need to pick up some stuff for the shopping district. Though I am not picking it up uh for my own shops. I'm actually picking it up for something else. As you can see, I have plenty of cobblestone here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up these in the chest, not in the chest, shulker boxes, and uh, I'll be right back after this is done. I only have these three shulker boxes here, so I don't even know if I can fit everything. All right, all three shulker boxes have been filled. Let us now head on over to the shopping district, and you might see what we actually need this cobblestone for. All right, we're here at the shopping district, and firstly, Endavar has been busy transforming more of the island into grass as you can see it looks absolutely amazing and now what what way i'm actually going i can't see my screen my cat is in the way oh no no oh no crash landing <laughs> as you can see we have right here a huge area marked out that amradon have actually been quite busy working on and we have a community project going on here. We are thinking of making a huge arena where we can we're fighting arena where we can play uh, and fight each other and uh, d yeah, do stuff. Um, so uh, he needs cobblestone for this because he's currently marking out the area. So I'm going to place these shelter boxes here. And my question is, do I have a... I do not I do not have a sign anywhere. What is that monstrosity? Um That is cursed. <laughs> that is cursed. <laughs> I do not know what is going on here, but it, it, that's just cursed. But Okay, I guess. <laughs> right, that's what we're calling it. Coliseum community build. Material storage. Oh, there's no storage. Uh, well, time to fix that. There we go. I am all where this came from. Because I really do. I need to empty those chests. Now you may be wondering, why are you on top of Chase's building? Chase's building. Yeah, that, that was a mouthful. Um, that is because we are taking down all of our shops. Yes. Now, I'm not expecting to have made any sales, but you you never know. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I made a sale in the last episode of the fireworks shop. Pretty sure that's not mine, but I don't care. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take down all three of these shops right here. And then we're going to eventually build something new. I don't know if we'll do it in this episode, but we'll see. Anyway, I gotta take them down first. So, let's get to it. Uh, what now? Excuse me? <laughs> I just came through my portal to go over to the shopping district. Um... What? What is this? I really hope I don't break anything by doing this. Oh... Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, what now? Where is this? Where's the? Where's the what? Uh, can you can you can you sense the confusion <laughs> that I have right now? Wait, wait, wait! I recognize this. Ah, aha! But that leads to. But then my Paul is. I am so confused to turn around that you know what 
I, I'm assuming that's end of our. <laughs> um, but you know what? That just made my my job even even easier to connect my portal up to. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Anyways, we are now here at the shopping district, and as you can see, binary shop construction site. I have taken down all the shops, which you of course saw in the time lapse. I have stored everything from the shops over there in a little pile of storage, and I have gathered some stuff. So I have two shulker boxes right here. One is the stuff that I will need to build the new shop, but this one is empty. Why? Because I don't have everything that I need to build the new shop, okay? I, I need to go shopping and get some valuables because I think I'm going to be needing quite a few diamonds in order to pull this off. As you may know or may not know, we are now in 1.17, which means we now have Mars and whatnot. And British Widow has been smart and has opened a shop for the new items for 1.17. So I need to buy a few things. Um, unfortunately, there is one thing he does not have in stock, and that is the um, the crystals themselves. The amethyst crystals themselves. Uh, he does not sell those. Oh wow, I love that roof. But I can make around that. So what does he have? He has uh, ooh carpet and wait what? Ooh and azalea. Okay, so. Two diamonds, two diamonds, one diamond, one diamond, one diamond. Right. Let me get to work. Two blocks per stack. Boom, boom. Boom and boom. Bridge Widow, thank you for your services. And now I still don't quite have everything that I need. But I do now have a spot. Whoa, that's sensitive. <laughs> so I have up to find Zoom. And also the spyglass zoom. Wow. I like it. But I still need the crystal shards to make one specific block. And that is the tinted glass. So I am going to leave this shulker box here. And we're going to go hunting for an amethyst. Because I need the crystals. I just realized. I don't know where my base is now. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna fly in the direction that I believe my base is in, which is this way. And if I see something glowing underground, well then that is probably an amethyst. And then I really need to get that nether tunnel sorted probably in this episode as well, because it can't really wait any longer. No, this is just a mineshaft. Not a geode. Oh! Well, never mind, that's a geode here. Ooh, okay. Hopefully this hasn't been opened before. Yep, there it is. Oh, hi, buddy. Ooh, nice. Okay, get out of here. I love the sound when you walk on these. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this one has stuff. Uh, this is Silk Touch. Which it actually worked. Okay, I, di I didn't know that would actually... <laughs> Work, but I guess what did I expect? Let's get our fortune one. I don't know if fortune has an effect But if it does I want it um, I don't know how many I need but I guess I'll just take All of the ones that are like Fully grown I suppose how much was that almost three stacks that is pretty good if you ask me and boom head back to the shopping district because now I can actually start making my shop. All right, I now have everything that I need to build my new shop. So without any further ado, let's get to work. Let's go. And here it is, the brand new shop that I do not have a name for. 
<laughs> I actually do not have a name for this. If you have any name suggestions, put them down below in the comments, please, because um, I'm terrible at names. But anyways, let's go through a little bit of what I did here with the build. So I made sure to use a lot of the new stuff from 1.17. We have the berry bushes. Wait, no. Glow berries. We have the glow berries. We have the azalea bushes, both of them. We have moss. We have uh, glow item frames, whatever they're called. Um, and I made sure to use this as well. What is it called? Ah, yes, tinted glass. That's what it's called. Um, to kind of block out the light because I really like the fact that it is kind of dim, kind of dark in here. Now, these do light up because I have Optifine installed, um, but that, that that's fine. Pretty much everyone will have up to find a stall. So that, that's pretty cool, actually. It gives off a tiny bit of light, as if it was a redstone torch. And you may have been able to hear the slight music when I walk around. And that is because under the carpets, first of all, the carpets add a bit of texture, in my opinion. But also, we have the, the crystal thing here. Uh, what's it called now? The block of amethyst. And, well, when you walk over it, makes a very nice sound so when people walk in they hear this nice calming sound and i really really like that now i did not have enough glow ink sac to convert all of the item frames but that is fine i'm not even there are a few things i'm not sure about one i don't know if i should potentially add some lighting in here something like this um but the end the end rods definitely fit in here somewhere so if it's too dark i can add these um but also, I don't know if I want the item frames on the ground or on the chest itself. Um, I don't even know. Can I maybe place it? I can actually place it on that. My original plan was actually to use drip leaves as the shelves, but I, I haven't gotten any. And the only way you can get them is through Wandering Traders. And the one that I finally got didn't sell them. So that was pretty upsetting. Yeah, I did the same pretty much outside, except that I do have some light here as well to light up the shop at night. Now I haven't actually put the moss all the way around the shop. I still need to do that. Um, but this gets the message across I feel like. I also do not know if I should keep the glow berries here or not. I'm hoping that they will grow berries on them. I have placed strew not here. I placed string some of the places to stop them from growing all the way down and make it look weird. But I don't know. I might pull these down eventually. Now I need to get to stocking. First off, I need to clean up my inventory. Secondly, I need to go over here and yeah, I need to readjust some prices here. But first, I need to sort out an issue because currently I have been flying back and forth the shopping district at my base, not using the nether because I don't know where my nether portal is. So I think it is about time that we go ahead and fix that nether tunnel up before continuing with stocking up the shop. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing I want to change about the nether is this. This is absolutely terrible. It is ugly. I need to get my feet wet every time. There's a creeper hole. I despise them. Um, so yeah, I think I need to make a little bit of a bridge I don't know what bridge to make though. I don't want to make anything too fancy, so I can't get through the door. I think I have a little bit of an idea on how to do this, um, but it is going to take a little bit more resources than I thought it would, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, I think something like this will do the trick. Uh, it's not the best, but you know what? This, this works, this actually works. Now, I would love to make this a little bit better as well, but I, I don't know exactly what to do here. I think I'll have to remake the portal another time, but for now, that's better. <laughs> that is much better. All right, let, us, let me see my inventory real quick, and let's go through the portal and, well, work on the tunnel, I guess. I just discovered something. That is where the way I went, right? Oh, would you look at that? There's something behind my portal. <laughs> I didn't even realize this. This leads directly to this path here. That then, I assume... I mean, I don't have a boat right now. Let's uh, let's fly. I assume... What was that? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's where I went out the first time. Right here somewhere. And so I'm pretty sure just by going this way... That... Yep. 
that that that's the that's the shopping district. Okay, right. So this is clearly my path to my portal. I want to make it a little bit bigger, and then yeah, seal off the other way pretty much because that will not be needed anymore. Yeah, I guess I'll just get to work. I'm not really gonna time lapse it because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing here. I think it's actually pretty obvious what I need to do. I need to make my own design for this tunnel. Because this is my tunnel, this is the one that goes to my base, I think I'm going to personalize it. So, I think this is this might actually look pretty cool when it's done. Alright, it is time for the big reveal. I'm actually really, really happy with this. So, let's take a look. Huh? Huh? Yes, I know. Moss is probably my favorite block at the moment. <laughs> But I think this looks really nice. We have the accent blue up here. We have moss blocks up here, glow berries that I'm hoping to grow and get actual glow berries on. We have moss. We have the same trick with the amethyst right there. We have some flowers in here. And I kind of like it being this dark. Not gonna lie, I like it how it's dark. Now, probably mobs can probably spawn on this. I didn't think about that. But you know what? I think that is a small price to pay for how this actually looks. I'm really happy with this, so I think this is... Well, this is it. This is my nether tunnel. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold up. That's not right. This is not right. This is not right by a long shot. Hold up. Uh, can I please... Much better. Much better. All right, let's go through now. <laughs> All right, we are back at the shopping district now because now is the time to decide what we're actually going to sell. Um, I obviously want to sell my firework rockets and whatnot, but I need to probably organize a little bit of this because what is what? Okay, so this is from, let me gather like what is valuable, what I actually want to sell. So at the moment I want to sell slime blocks, slime balls, Leads, Firework Rockets, Flight Duration 1 and Flight Duration 3, and of course, Netherite. I've been selling a lot of that. So I want to continue doing that, but I might think of reducing some of it. Like, for example, you can convert slime blocks into slime balls. Forget the slime balls, just settle the slime blocks. And probably just going to sell the Firework Flight Duration 3 rockets, I think. I think I've got to scrap these just to keep it a little bit more simple. So if I get rid of this, then I'm trying to sell four different things. And I, of course, want to expand the shop because of all these chests. I want to expand the shop um, with even more items in the future. But for now, this is the thing. these are the things that I'm selling. I might have a few ideas on what other stuff I, have, I will be able to sell in the future. But for now, these four things are it. So I'll take this with me back to my base. I'll set some new prices as well. I love this tunnel. <laughs> I love this tunnel. All right, I have the stuff. So I'm going to put in slime block here, and then there's going to be slime blocks in there. Leads here, one diamond for 16, two diamonds for one stack, two diamonds for one stack, and two diamond blocks for one ingot. I hope all these actually make sense. If you have any suggestions to any of this, the pricings and the names of these things, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but anyways, I have two netherite ingots right here. Hopefully that'll be good enough for now. And I need to fill this up with firework rockets, this with leads and this with slime blocks. All right, everything has been stocked up. The slime blocks, the leads, the firework rockets and the netherite. We could use some more netherite ingots in there, but for now this will be all right. Now there is one final thing that I want to do. In this, well, not in this episode, but kind of, kind of th clear things up here, because this will still be my plot. I was originally going to just say, you know what, I don't need this anymore, but I have gotten a little bit of an idea. Um, I don't want to share it right now. I will probably do it next episode, because it won't take that long to do. Um, but I do have a plan with it, so I am going to. Take this. There we go. Binary plot. What will show up here? Because I do have, as I said, a plan for that. But anyways, that I think is it for the shop. Again, I might make a few tweaks here and there. I might pull these down. I don't know yet. Depends on whether or not there will actually come glowberries on them. And with that, I'm going to call it an episode right here. Ooh, glowberry. Yay. 
Okay, so they do actually grow. That's great. <laughs> but yes, guys, I'm going to call it an episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed. Again, if you have any suggestions or anything like that to the store, do let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and enable those notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. I should also say that I will be doing streams here on Ramp Craft, so be sure to look out for those as well. Just, just another reason for you to enable those notifications. You know, um, but anyways, I'm gonna call it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.